given that we've known each other for over a decade. I knew it would pain you. That's why I asked. I, I, I love the proliferation of casting rumors on the internet because I never have to say what's real and what's fantasy. So I'm just going to go with the very cliche no comment on all things casting. We have seen this question pop up before if Taylor Swift was to be in Deadpool 3 as the Dazzler. I'm not going to exploit what is a personal friendship uh, with the lovely Taylor Swift, but has the word Dazzler ever escaped anyone's lips when you've been in a room with Taylor? Um, it sure escapes the lips of social media every day, and that's all I'm going to say. Would she be a good Dazzler, just whether it's you or someone else directing? Sounds like a great idea. Well, Sean, Levi has tried to answer this question to the best of his ability while making fans happy, he's been keeping quiet about it. That is, until now, that has been mentioned again. With the release of Taylor's new album, or should I say both, fans have already picked and chosen specific words that pertain to her relationships, current and past, and other scenarios. And for one of the songs, Clarabo, which was meant to be about her life in the spotlight, the words she chooses at the end caught the attention of many fans of her and Marvel. In the closing line of the track, the future's bright, dazzling. This choice of word dazzling has sparked speculation that Swift might be hinting at a possible role in Deadpool and Wolverine. Given that the word is very close to the character's name she would be playing, I want to say never say never, if she were to appear, it could be as herself or possibly the Dazzler, a mutant who can transform sound waves into different types of light. More recently, Sean was asked once again, no comment, because that's a double whammy. That's Taylor related and it's MCU related. I'm no dummy. Okay, can we talk about Deadpool and Wolverine? I'm happy to report the movie's finished it's done. and we're going to be ready for July. What are we going to see? This is the first R-rated Marvel movie, right? It yeah, it's definitely, look, it's Deadpool, right? So it's, it's kind of like the rule book goes out the window. It's audacious. It's R-rated. But I think what people are also going to see, and this is, this I think may end up being the, the special sauce, is it's Wolverine and Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds also addressed the rumors about Swift by adopting a similarly cautious stance to Levi, suggesting fans will need to wait for confirmation as all of the spoilers will be revealed on July 26th. Is Taylor Swift Dazzler? I can't even believe that you would dare ask me a question that you know I can't answer. You know I can't. No, you can answer that. You can answer. You can tell. All of America knows I can't answer that. But I will say, as I said earlier here at CinemaCon, the proliferation of rumors about who is and isn't in this movie, it's fabulous because no one will ever know the truth until July 26th. Yeah, I've heard that one. I love it. The gossip. I think it is a sign of how eager people are to get a peek behind the curtain in this world. Every single one of these secrets and spoilers will be revealed on July 26th, he said. Okay, Deadpool 3 and All Too Well were filmed in the same location. So fans out there are speculating now that that's a little golden nugget and Easter egg, if you will, that Taylor Swift is going to make a cameo in the next Deadpool film. Well, if we shoot the next Deadpool film in our house, then that would be that location. With Swift loving to put out Easter eggs around all of what she does, it could mean something and it can mean nothing. Only time will tell when the film comes out and we see it all unfold. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What do you think about all of this and do you really think the rumors are true? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. I, I love the proliferation of casting rumors. Uh, around my movie because there's so many that it's impossible to know what's real and what's uh, made up. Um, and so all I'll say is, yeah, this, this movie, starting with Ryan and Hugh, but definitely in other areas, um, some of whom the world knows about, Matthew McFadden, Emma yep. Corrin.